With all the talk about North Korea's growing military ties with Russia, we should be careful not to overlook the China factor. But as it happens, there's been a sudden burst of reports suggesting Pyongyang is certainly not neglecting Beijing. But it may be that South Korea also senses an opportunity to get closer to China, as we'll see. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un himself has vowed to further develop ties with Beijing, having met with China's top legislator, Zhao Leji, in Pyongyang over the weekend. The North's state media showed an image of the pair laughing together over a lunch meeting. Kim described Zhao's visit as of a very weighty significance in demonstrating the invincibility of the North's friendship with China, as well as indicating the development of ties. Another image of them showed them clenching their hands towards each other as the North Korean leader bid Zhao farewell. And while we didn't get specifics on their focus for developing Pyongyang-Beijing relations, history tells us that China has been a vital source of economic support for the North. Zhao also reportedly insisted China is adamant about maintaining its traditional friendship with North Korea and boosting cooperation. And it's significant that Zhao was in North Korea at all. As the chairman of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress of China, he is the first high-ranking Chinese official to visit North Korea since the outbreak of COVID-19. He travelled to the North as the two sides marked the 75th anniversary of diplomatic relations. Related celebrations also saw Kim Jong-un enjoy a Chinese orchestral performance in Pyongyang, surrounded by North Korean and Chinese officials. But what further practical implications can we draw from the last few days? Analysis in South Korea suggests that Zhao's trip to Pyongyang may lead to a full-fledged recovery in North Korea's ties with China, which likely wants to ensure it remains close enough to the North to counterbalance the rising influence of Russia since last year when Kim Jong-un met Vladimir Putin. And indeed, it's thought we could see a summit between Kim and his counterpart Xi Jinping in China later this year. Yet, South Korea and Japan have also seen the need to engage. According to reports last week, Seoul's been in talks with China and Japan to arrange a trilateral summit of their leaders as soon as next month. The last summit of this kind was held in China in late 2019. But the three sides are apparently moving to reboot this meeting as a way to discuss economic cooperation and regional issues, including North Korea's nuclear weapon development. The North may not like that, but Beijing could have a key role to play in ensuring military threats don't spiral out of control at a time when the Middle East and Ukraine remain embroiled in conflicts.